Hi everybody, my name is Shelby. Today I'm going to demonstrate some italic lowercase letters or minuscules, the L, the I, the N, H, R, and M. I'm going to give you also just a tiny bit of an introduction to some of the materials I'm using. I made this set of lines that I'm using today and printed them on my printer and I went to a line generator online and this particular one is called cdcalligraphia.info and once you're there you can generate lines for different types of pens, different um, styles of nibs and um, this I happens to be for the square nib, the chisel nib, the pilot parallel pen and I'm using the 2.4 millimeter pen and it's the yellow pen. Also I drew on here my equipment supplies just this little compass and italic minuscules are generally written at a 45 degree pen angle and it I drew that on there for my own instruction and for students instruction to note the importance of the pen angle and to keep that pen angle right in focus on your paper or to your side but somehow make sure that you know that you are um, doing your letters at a 45 degree pen angle okay so I'm going to show you just some warm-up exercises and um, very simple uh, idea but it's critical to learn this I'm keeping my um, pen tip at a 45 degree pen angle and as I touch down on this slanted line I've got a th started on a thick pulled all the way down and ended on a thick I'm going to make a crossbar and I'm starting on a thick and making just a balanced X and if I have my pen at the right angle then I have a balanced X or cross I should say. I'm going to just zoom this in just a little bit more for us. And italic is done at a slant and I on mine uh, printout that I made and generated at the line generator this is at a uh, seven degree slope. Another good warm-up is to is is a long letter and that's a lot like an L but just making a long line all the way up to the top of the descender line through the waistline down to the baseline and in fact you can also start at the waistline pull down and go through the baseline branch and make a descending letter. So another descending letter, just a descender that's typical for italic. It's just a smooth flowing straight line slanted and then pushing forward with a tail, although sometimes people pull down, end on a thin, and pull up. That can be done too. What for myself, I tend not to do that because often I make it a little too scooped and I don't like that. That's not really appropriate italic. You want something a little bit flatter. All right, let's go right into making some of these letters. Let's make an L. And L is going to start almost at the top of the ascender line and I'm going through the capital line and I'm pulling using the slant that I generated and I'm doing an exit on a hairline. So I started on a hairline and I exited on a hairline. So 
start on the hairline so that's a little bit below that writing line pull down I'm starting to think about my exit and exit on that hairline the eye is below the waistline pulls down at that slant exits on a hairline and go up and put the jot on which is about one pin width a little more than one pen, pen width away from the top of the eye and remember I'm working at a 45 degree pen angle okay the N has a lot of similarities in the way it starts with the eye. It starts below the waistline on that on that hairline. But it ends on a thick and I'm going to go right back into that thick and I'm going to start branching right about here so that I have a nice gracious space there and I'm curving around oh boy my pen is really flowing a lot of ink here Let's see if I can fix that a little bit here so I don't have so much ink coming out of my pen there it's kind of unusual and okay starting on a thin pulling down on that's about as thick of a line as you're going to get at a 45 degree angle with the 2.4 millimeter nib Going back in, I'm kind of almost retracing some of that stem, and I'm going to make a counter space here. And by that I mean this counter space here ends up being a triangle that you're trying to create that space and making it the right size and the right shape so that the rest of the letter is also the right size and the right shape. Let's make the letter H which is really a taller N. So it starts like the L a tiny bit below the ascender line but it starts on the hairline pulling down ends on the thick retracing and I'm going to make that triangle counter space watching my pen keeping my 45 degree pen angle and ending on a hairline so very important to give enough space here and to get this triangle and when you keep your pin angle correct you've got this triangle is basically at a 45 degree angle there this is basically a 45 degree and this is the other half of it so you've got a 45 so you've got all of these nice crisp angles that give this alphabet its look the next letter I want to do for you or with you is the R and again starting on a thin just a little bit below the waistline touching the waistline pulling down ending on the thick retracing and thinking about branching already and Thing about the R is there just isn't much to it. You kind of want your the, your pen to do more, but it's just that's all there is to it. It isn't a big wavy um, ear on the R at all. It's got that nice hairline, good thick retrace into the stem, and that exit. And here is that same triangle that you have on the N and the H. The M will have many similarities with these shapes and these counter shapes. 
the hairline start, the thick retracing, getting that branch and getting the triangle going there and retrace another triangle created by that counter space and an exit. Okay, so see if I can do one without talking. Okay, and you have triangle there and they're the same shape and this is 45 and this is 45 and this is actually 45 and so is this so you've got all these um, reasons to keep your pen at that 45 degree pen angle.